Hi, Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Exeter, and this is Garage Talk. Mrs. Griffin, how are you? Looking good. You have an appointment for an inspection. That's right. Okay, I'll get the door. You can pull right in. Uh, can you have your registration with you? Perfect. Great. Looks like you need to register your car this month. Don't forget that. All right, you got your headlights on. You want to try your high beams, please? Try your turn signals. Excellent. Your horn. Windshield wipers. Put your foot on the brake. Okay, turn signals. Well, we'll make your sticker out. You should be all set. We always want to entertain you. We want things to be funny, but a lot of things in life are not funny. It's more serious. And so we just walked you through what a, a part of a state inspection would be on your car. It is the law in the state of Maine for you to have an annual state inspection. You take it into your favorite garage, whoever it is, maybe the dealership. They go over the entire car like we did, but obviously more. They'll check the tires. They'll put it up in the air. They'll check your brake pads, exhaust system, front end parts. Make sure that nothing's ready to fall off. It's called a vehicle safety inspection, just to make sure your car is safe. And nowadays in Maine, with the rust and stuff, if it starts to get old and decay and it looks like the bumper is going to fall off, that's a fail. That's not going to work. And if you have don't have enough tread in your tires, then you're going to have to buy new tires. A lot of times a customer will fail an inspection. And there's different things that take place when all of that happens. So that's for your car, and it's a good idea to do those things. But you know what occurs to me? And this is where we're going where angels fear to tread. And don't take this the wrong way. But who inspects you? I'm not talking about your physical appearance. Obviously, that's very important. Probably you go to the doctor for an annual physical. At least I suppose we should. Can't say we all do. But there's things going on inside your life that really determine a lot of times what goes on on the outside of your life. And so there's three things I want to give you, three H's. How about your heart? The one, not the one that goes kathump, 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 and it go, and when it stops going kathump, you go kathump. Not that one. I'm talking about the heart of who you are. The Bible says, out of the the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The things that you think about, talk about, your speech, your heart, how you talk to your family members, and all of those things are related to your heart. David said in the Psalms, "The Lord rewarded me according to the cleanness of my hands." And you may use great soap on your hands and they may look clean to you and I, and they probably do, but he's talking about the things that he is involved with, whether his hands are dirty or not. I think you know what that means. And then the hankering is the love in your life. And I have a huge hankering for my family, huge hankering for my wife, really like her. But all of those things are where your affections are. And do you love going home at night or... Are you dreading going home? And where's your affections? What are you thinking about? And those are all the things that need to be inspected from time to time. And the Lord is a great resource in helping you with that inspection. And then 
Everybody needs a close friend. Maybe for your husband, it's your wife. For your wife, it's your husband. Maybe for, your, for the wife, it's a lot of times, guys, we can't meet all the social needs of the female in our life. There's just things that we... So a lot of times your wife will have that close friend. It needs to be a trusted friend. It needs to be someone that's not gossipy or gabby or telling the whole world. It needs to be someone you can trust and you go to and you, and you talk to them about certain things and, and they listen to each other and they help each other. Guys do the same thing. You know, we can get around and we can talk about, hey... How about that Tom Brady or different things? But once in a while, we talk about things that we just as soon stay between the two of those man to man. But it's really about improving who we are. It's that inspection. So I hope that in your life, you've got someone, number one, Jesus Christ. But number two, that close friend that you can share some things with, work on your life so that a car, as it gets older, man. After a while, that thing is just going to rust and go into the ground. But for you and I, the Bible says that we can prosper even as our souls prosper. We're not getting older. We're getting better. And that can happen when you go through that inspection from time to time. See you in church on Sunday. I hope.